Hello, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to route sounds out of OBS so that you can have control over what shows up in your Twitch VOD, what shows up in your live stream, and what doesn't show up at all. And today we're using virtual audio cables for this so that we don't need to be running any extra sort of software like voice meter or banana, which a lot of people use. So to get started, um, virtual audio cable voice meter and banana are all VB audio software but because I like to have as little applications running while I stream as possible for to keep up my frames and so on uh, we're just going to be using the virtual audio cables so today I want you to download the regular cable right here but for this routing we will also need cable A plus B uh, it took me a while, but I've recently learned that you cannot route the audio using only one cable. You will need multiple, which is why we're going to download the standard one as well as A and B. So when you go to download A and B, these are donationware. So it will ask you to donate. I chose P1, the cheapest. Uh, it's a one-time payment, and then you get these, uh, you get access to the download of these audio cables indefinitely but if you know anybody else that already has the install media you might be able to just get it from them and install it so once we have the a b and our standard cable uh, downloaded what we will do is the a b driver pack here you will extract and it will come with an a and a b i recommend putting these all in separate folders to extract them so a um, because then when you do extract it here what's going to happen is all these icons and files might overlap with each other when you do a and b separately so we don't want that so i would put um, a into a b into b and then extract them right in there and then when you want to, as well as your uh, regular cable, and then when you want to, when you go to install these, first of all, there should be a setup and a x64 setup. So best thing to do is click start and type this PC, right click, go properties, and you will see under system. So right here, I have a 64 bit operating system. So I want to use the x64 installer. So now I will go to my cable A, right click, go to run as administrator, and then here you should see something like install driver. So install that and do it for cables A, B, and your standard cable. And then once that is done for all of those, restart your computer. And then once your computer is restarted, we can start configuring these devices. So what we will do is go sounds once you have finished restarting. I recommend setting the cable input, the standard one, as your default playback device. And then once you do that, um, go to recording. You can leave your microphone as the default device here, as I have, but scroll down to your cable output A and B, right click on each one of them, go properties, uh, listen, and make sure you select listen to this advice and then play back through whatever your normal speakers are. This allows it so that whatever sound or application we have filtered to these devices, we'll still be able to hear them through our regular headphones. So once you have that set for A, B, and output, you should be good to go there. Now, for this purpose, because I'm using cable A as my output, or my input that I don't want to show up in my VOD, we're going to use cable B as the input that we want in our VOD, but we don't want it in our live stream. So for example, say you have Discord and say you're playing a game like Among Us where it's okay if your Discord chat shows up in the VOD but you don't want it to ruin anything in the live stream. What you can do is go into your Discord settings, voice and video, and 
for our output device, we will set it to be cable B because that's the one we're going to route outside of our live stream. So we can set that manually in there. Now for applications such as Spotify, where you don't have any option to set the output device, uh, usually is when people use things such as voice meter or banana for the routing. But because we're using the virtual audio cable, we don't have this capability. Luckily in Windows 10, if you right click and go open sound settings, we can manage uh, individually in here. So our cable input is our default output device. We will leave that right there. But if we go down to advanced sound options, you can see here now we have the option of setting an output device for applications we normally wouldn't. So you can't see Spotify in here by default. So what you have to do is open whatever application you want to add there. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I have it, the volume down so I don't get a copyright strike, but I will hit play so that there is some sound coming. And then when you go back here, you will see Spotify music is now down here where I can manually set uh, cable A. And Discord, I shouldn't have to change in here. I can leave it to default because we can manage it in the actual app settings itself. But for applications that don't have an output device, um, we'll go right here. Like I said, cable A is what we're using to stream outside of our VOD. So we'll set that to cable A. And then once you have all of your individual devices set up and applications to where you want them to go, we can now configure this in OBS. So the first thing I want to show you in OBS is in your settings here, any audio devices you have set under your global audio device will be in each scene by default. Because we want to manage each of these sounds individually, I set those to disabled because we'll add them manually. And then microphone just set as your standard microphone. I think that's okay for me personally because I use the same microphone and this way no matter when I create a new scene, um, my microphone source is always there by default. You can set this as your cable input, but I still recommend doing it disabled and adding it manually after. And what you also need to do is go to your output settings here and turn advanced mode on. So once advanced mode is on, you can see we have our audio track here and our Twitch VOD track. So the audio track is set to channel one. So everything we have routed to channel one will show up in our live stream and our VOD. Now our Twitch VOD track we have enabled and set it to two. So since the Twitch VOD track is channel two, anything we don't want to go into our Twitch VOD, we will have to unfilter from channel two, which I will show you right now. So audio will keep as one and the VOD will keep as two and then apply. And once that is set, we can go in here where we will manage our devices individually. So for audio output, um, I'll, once you have the devices added as a source on different scenes, you can just add existing again. But for this purpose, I'll show you how to do it from scratch. So create a new desktop. We'll use this as our desktop audio. The device for this we want to be is our cable input because that's what we set as our default device for our desktop audio. So now we click OK. Now all of our desktop audio sounds that we get will come through here, such as our game sounds and so on. Now let's set up um, another audio output. I have mine just set as Spotify, but let's put, um, we'll call this one um, VOD um, skip. So for this device, we'll use cable input A because this is the one we don't want to show in our VOD. And this is what we've set Spotify to be cable A input. So um, you can call it whatever. I've just added the cable A input device as Spotify is what I called it because Spotify is the only thing I have routed to cable A input. And now we will add another outputs capture. So Discord is the only thing I have routed to the cable B input right now. So I just called it Discord, but we could call this cable B, you call this cable A, so on, for example, just to keep it um, 
to keep it easier so you know which ones you're working with specifically. So I'll call this cable B. And now um, we have Spotify set to go to cable A. So once you have your devices in here, your cable A, your cable B, and so on, and your desktop audio sounds, we can right click this gear right here and go to advanced audio properties. And this is where we do all of our routing. So cable A specifically right here, I have Spotify going to cable A. If I don't want that in my VOD, I uncheck track two. If I don't want any of my desktop sounds, um, my games, anything period, except for my microphone, I'll uncheck two. If I want my microphone to show up in my live stream, for example, but not my VOD, uncheck too. Anything you don't want in your VOD, you uncheck from the Twitch VOD track. And now anything you don't want from your live stream, you uncheck from one. So cable B, I have D Discord going to. So if I uncheck this now, uh, my live stream will not be able to hear my Discord chat. But because I have it set to track two, my VOD will. So again, games like Among Us that don't matter are live, we don't want people to hear. So we uncheck that, but in the VOD it doesn't matter, so we can leave it there. Now, if you wanted to be able to hear your music and you didn't want to risk any chance of copyright strike in your live video or your Twitch VOD, you could uncheck one and two. So this means that anything going to cable A, such as your Spotify, won't show up in the live stream or recording or your VOD. But me, I'm okay with it showing up live. Uh, I take the risk, so I just don't want it in my VOD because I don't want my Twitch VOD to get muted or I don't want somebody to have 60 days to go back and submit a copyright strike. So now that I've unchecked that from two, this should no longer show up in your VOD. And it's as simple as that between unchecking and checking once you have your settings there. So I hope that helps some of you with your audio routing, and I hope now you can enjoy whatever music and sound you want without having to worry about being copyright stricken. So uh, share this around. Let me know if this helps, and enjoy. Thank you for coming, and peace out.